time ago, my little niece said, look, it's Aunt Dick and Joan. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I came up the walk. It was like a set. You there you know, go. I was alone, but Aunt Dick and Joan. That's I'm right, Duke there. and Cat. So cool. That's right, we're a pair. That's right, good to see you. How are you all today? Good, how are you doing, sir? Fantastic. Do you mind if I ask you a question? Uh -huh. Why are you guys here today? To pay honor, long overdue, to uh, these veterans who have been forgotten, overlooked, oh lost. That's why I wrote the poem. This. And you wrote a poem? Yes, for them. Oh, Someone Does Care. Someone Does Care. That is beautiful. And your name? Helen Glass. Helen Glass. Yes. And did you serve? I was in the Navy in World War II. World War II. Wow, thank you for your service. <laughs> and you, sir? Uh, Army. Army. Thank you for your service. Thank you. And you're here for? Uh, I'm here because the uh, veterans that have been forgotten, they've fallen through the cracks. They're basically, they, they've become missing in America, and we're here to make sure that they're, they're, they're given their final resting place and the honors that they so richly deserve. Well, we truly thank you all. That's why I said, never again will one generation of veterans abandon another. That's right. We never leave anyone behind. No. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Mrs. Glass. Hi. I know you are. Hi. Oh, how wonderful! I love your outfit. Thank you. Good morning, Elvis. I saw you on that fundraiser, the 